Bergen Garage in Sussex to find out how to mend old cars. Thanks, Pip. I'll see you later. Hi. Hi, Vicky. Hi Welcome there. Welcome Paragon. I'm Mark. Hello. Come and have a look at our cars. Right, yeah. Porsches Hi. everywhere. Bye. Yes. We specialise in Porsches and the restoration of old cars. We've got quite a few interesting cars to show you around the back. Are they all old or are they, uh, some of them quite new? No, some of them are fairly recent. And this one is completely covered in spots. Yeah, the owner of this car is mad keen on Dalmatians, and she's had her car <laughs> spotted see. up to look like one. I see, I see. What do we... Oh, we've got a beautiful orange one here. It's a 20-year-old 911T, a uh, uh, restored example of... And this is a Porsche? Uh -huh. Yeah, Porsche, yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, my goodness, what is this? This is a 1956 Chevrolet, oh. an American car. It's been in the country for three years. That is just gorgeous, isn't it? But this is your challenge here. <laughs> what? You've what? got to make this car here look as beautiful as a Chevy. I don't believe it. It's not possible. It is. Yeah, we're going to help you. And what Vicky doesn't know is that this car is entered to race at Brands Hatch in a few days' time. To get Vicky started, most of the old paint has already been stripped off. That's all right, isn't it? Thanks, guys. Right, aha, <laughs> the overalls. Get some overalls. What are we going to do first then? Right, well, first of all, you're going to have to clean all this body rust off the whole of a car. The whole, the whole of the car's body has got to be prepared. Wow. Get rid of all the rust. Yeah. Uh, ready for priming and painting. Yeah. Uh, but worst, the worst parts are here where we've got some real oh, major gee, rust. Yeah, that's awful. Now, that's all got to be cut out and ground back to good metal. Right. Before we can fit in some new panels. Weld those in and then, as I say, prepare the whole car, including the new panels. Yeah. Prime the car, ready for repainting. Painting it as well? Yes, you're going to be painting it. How come the car has actually got in such a state in the first place? Well, the car's 22 years old, but it has been left in someone's yard for the last two years. Despite the age of this old car, still in lovely condition. It's beautiful, it's shiny, it's bright, but it could just as easily have ended up looking like this. The life of a car is limited due to the materials being used will show signs of ageing. Even the rubber on the tyres will crack and crumble, and the paintwork will chip and flake and become ugly. The inside of the car ages just as much as the outside. The material used to cover the seats is beginning to look shabby. Knobs, handles and bits have started to fall off. The engine will show signs of ageing. The parts used to make up the engine will become old and start to fail. But the biggest problem after engine failure is rust. Most cars are made of steel because steel is strong and cheap metal to use. But because these cars spend most of their lives outside in all weathers, the water and air make the steel rust. The rust eats through the metal, making holes and weakening the body, and therefore making it dangerous. What we've got to do is we've got to find some good metal so we can weld the new plates to it. Right. Okay. So if you, uh, if you grind along this sort of line, probably about here. Right. And it's like sanding, is it? Just like sanding, okay. yeah. Let me switch it on. <laughs> That's it, taking into the metal. Okay. The worst of the rust needs grinding down to the clean, bare metal underneath. Rust is the crumbly brown material that's caused by the chemical reaction of metals like iron and steel to water and oxygen. If we look closely at a small part of this car, we can see the paintwork has some scratches on it. A scratch allows water to get onto the metal surface, where the oxygen in the water chemically reacts with the metal. The rust continues to spread under the paint, forcing it away from the metal surface. Eventually, the paint blisters, cracks and falls away, allowing more water to get in. If rust is left unchecked, it eats into the metal, causing holes and weakening it.
The Albert Memorial in London is in danger of falling down because it's gone rusty. It was completed in 1872 for Queen Victoria to honour her dead husband, Albert. The monument has a cast iron frame which is covered with lead and marble. Over the years, the rain has managed to get to the iron structure underneath through cracks in the lead and this has caused the metal to rust. Rust gets bigger and bigger and it takes up more space than the original iron. So as it spreads, it's pushing the memorial's lead and marble casing away from its iron frame. The monument is now so weak and dangerous that scaffolding has been built to protect it while it waits for repairs. Ta-da! What do you think, Mark? That looks great. Back to the metal. Shiny metal. Yeah, but a bit hard work. I want to know, why can't I just paint over that? If you were just to paint over it, it would look okay to begin with, but it would soon rust up again. It would, the, the rust would creep underneath the paint mm. and be back to uh, oh. where we are now. Oh, if, I see. If we cut it out as we're going to um, and weld a new plate in, we can uh, prime the metal and it'll be as good as new. Right, okay, so I've got rid of some of it, but I've got to cut this last bit away. Cut this, all the rusted area away. We need to, about here, we need to cut a line along here. Okay. Here we go. Stand back. Cutting away the rusty metal will leave a clean edge ready for a new piece of metal to be joined on. Yeah. I'll just cut down here and then it'll probably take the whole thing off. That's it. Happening, but it's um, I d it's just flicking off. Hey, <laughs> thank you. While the new metal plate is being made, there's plenty to do on the rest of the car. Hmm. <laughs> there's rust in here too. <laughs> Some of the rust just needs sanding away. All I need now is something to stick on this. Oh, look on, Richard. There it is. Hi. Hello. This is the, uh, the plate I've made for you. Right. Which will fit very neatly. What did you make it out of? That's made of steel, which is the same as same. the body of the car. Right. The new plate has to be welded to the car. Is that right? Uh, a little untidy. Yes, it is, isn't it? It's quite tricky. Welding heats the metals up until they melt. When they cool, they harden and stick together. The new plate is now joined to the car. Right, Richard, I think I've done it as best I can. Is that it, then? No. Now, what we have to do now is uh, to clean off the tops of the wells yeah. so that it's flush. And then we can prepare the car, yeah. which will seal the joint so the water can't get in and uh, rust it again. again. Fine, sounds great. But I want a cup of tea. And this car is really great, isn't it? Very nice. Hey! Yeah, I'll see. Thank you. Brilliant. I'll see you later. Bye. Thanks. This car is, is new, isn't it? Lovely, isn't it? It's a couple of years old. And how do you think, I mean, how are you going to stop it from doing what my beetle's done, gone rusty? Well, it's got stone protectors here, so the stones won't knock the paint off and then start rusting. Oh, yeah. Um, at the front of the vehicle, we've got plastic bumpers on these. Oh, right. So stones don't chip that back and obviously plastic won't rust. Right, and that's quite common, is it now, on cars? On the later cars, yeah. Right. Yeah. And what about the whole car? Do you treat it in a particular way? It's These, so... They've got a much better paint finish now and the, the, the car's galvanised steel to start with, which, which will stop the rust Oh, so it's altogether. a kind of treatment? Yeah, the steel's treated, yeah. Why can't all cars have galvanised steel then? It's a really expensive process. Oh, I see. So it's only the top Porsche type. Thing. That's it, yeah. Have you got any other cars here that are, you know, that seem to be so many different metals? Are there other cars that have got Yeah, we've got metals? some we can show you around the front. Oh. Come and have a look. Right, OK. Iron and steel are widely used because they're strong and cheap. 
but they both have a major problem. They rust. One way to stop them rusting is to cover them completely with another metal that doesn't rust. This process is called galvanizing. Galvanized metal is used in cars, buildings, and even art. Sophie Ryder is a sculptor who makes large animals from steel. Most of her work lives outside. So to stop the steel rusting, Sophie galvanizes it. At the galvanizers, the sculptures are cleaned in an acid bath to get rid of the grease, dirt and rust. After drying, they're dipped in a hot bath of zinc that's been heated to 450 degrees Celsius. Zinc is a metal, but it becomes liquid at this temperature. It's used because it doesn't rust like iron and steel. In the zinc bath, a chemical reaction makes the zinc stick to the metal, forming a protective coating. The sculptures are taken out of the zinc bath and left to cool down. If the galvanizing isn't damaged, it should last for up to a hundred years. I made this horse with wire that had already been galvanized and then I sprayed it with several different layers of car spray until I got the effect I wanted. These crows are cut out of sheet steel. There are 150 of them all together. And when I'd finished making them, I took them out of my studio and left them out in the rain and after three days they started developing a little bit of surface rust and then this is how they look after three months. They've got a lovely orange colour which I really like so I won't have these galvanised. This Range Rover is about the same age as the Beetle we've been working on. Really? But there's no rust on it at all? I know, what? it's aluminium. And that doesn't, body. that doesn't rust? No, it doesn't rust at all. Oh. Hello. Hi. But why, why can't we all have aluminium cars then? It's really expensive material. Oh, look. Yeah, look, there's a chip there and it hasn't rusted. And that's simply because it's that kind of metal? Because it's aluminium, yeah. Wonderful. Well, look, I'm going to leave you to get on with that and okay. I'm going to go and mend my car. Okay, then. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Rich, have you got that filler? Great. I've got to... Um, I've got to seal this thing pretty quickly to stop the water getting in where we put that panel on and this sealer will harden in about a minute so it's going to be very quick. See I covered over this crack and it's like using polyfiller. I think I've done it. Bit of a mess but... Yeah. I imagine this is going to be quite fiddly. I've only got three more of these to do. Okay. Looks wonderful, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, it's good, isn't it? So now, paint it. Well, we've got to mask it up now. Mask up the windows and the wheels. Right, I have really done it this time. I'm ready to paint it. Well, you're ready to prime it now. Prime it? We've got to put primer on, mainly on the rusted areas that we've repaired, and on any bare metal. Right. Which is like a protector before the paint. Yeah, and that'll help it stop and it rusting again. It. Yes. Okay. You in there. Well, I want to start on this bit because um, I'm really pleased with this. I mean, that was my rusty, rusty, rusty bit. It looks wonderful. I can't believe it. Here goes. Right. I feel quite nervous. Mm. Primer is a type of paint that helps protect the car from rusting. Hey, it's not too hard at all. It also provides a good smooth surface for the paint. And how long is it going to take to dry? We'll, uh, we'll start putting the paint over it as soon as, it, as, soon as it's uh, just tacky. Yeah. So we won't really wait for it to dry completely.
Once the car is completely primed, it needs several coats of paint. Paintwork yesterday, and the boys have put all the lights on and everything. And I haven't seen it yet, so this is going to be the first time. I can't wait, and it's going to be just around this corner. <laughs> I don't believe it. What have you done? <laughs> I don't believe it. Well, I'm just going to put the final stickers on. But what? <laughs> why? Why? The car's why? entered for a race. I'm supposed to be driving it on Sunday at Brands Hatch. Brands. Brand. Brands Hatch, yeah. And as long as it's strong and safe enough and passes the uh, safety test in the morning. So as long as you've done your work properly, hey. we're going to be racing in the afternoon. Oh. Hi. You got here OK? Yeah, fine, yeah. I thought you'd be driving it here. Thank you very much. Thank you. you going to get? About 110 along the straight just before this corner. Really? Yeah. Oh. yeah. It's the important bit, then. Let the scrutineering bay. Before the race, all cars are checked at the scrutineer to see if they're safe enough to drive at high speeds. If Vicky hasn't done her job properly, this car won't be allowed to race. The inspector looks the car over to make sure there are no holes, no loose parts, and most importantly, no rust. Yeah, have we passed? <laughs> yes, yes, it has. Yeah, we've done it. Brilliant. We're ready to race now. Now it's Mark's turn to do his part. Vicky's repairs made the car safe enough for Mark to drive and win the race. Woo! Brilliant! It's wonderful, yeah, you beat your own lap time. You were really fast. Oh, excellent. Absolutely brilliant. It's really handy, well. Well, it's because of my rust. Yeah, it's all <laughs> <laughs> it's all really stiff now and it's good for the corners. Yeah. Wonderful. Yay! Really good race. Thank you. Ta-ra! Bye.